experiment three, we are going to perform recrystallization. I hope that at this point you have watched the pre-lab discussions, which covers theory of recrystallization. Everything about recrystallization is covered in pre-lab discussion. For the experiment part, we are going to follow the procedure. For part one, we're trying to find what would be the better recrystallization solvent. And we are, I made it easier for students. I just gave a choice of two solvent to try. So we measure 0.1 gram of the unknown mixture that we have for recrystallization. We transfer that into a, a test tube for and if you could see like the close up, it was the 0.1 gram and the 0.1 gram, and I will include that picture for you also, uh, that it was very close to 0.1 gram. And for the 0.1 gram, I'm adding three milliliters of ethanol with the three milliliters of ethanol as a solvent. If the solvent dissolves the sample at room temperature is not a good recrystallization solvent. If it doesn't dissolve at room temperature, but it does dissolve at the boiling point of the sample, it's, it's meeting one condition. Just again, you have heard already, you have seen all of that in the pre-lab discussion. So I'm trying to test to see if it's going to dissolve at room temperature. If it does dissolve at room temperature, it's not good, but this is the deionized water plus 0.1. Um, grams of the sample, three milliliters of water. For this test tube, I had three milliliters of ethanol. I added three milliliters of ethanol with 0.1 gram of the, of the sample. And I'm going to shake both of them, agitate, to see if it dissolves at room temperature or not. So my right hand side is the is the ethanol, which did dissolve the sample at room temperature. So the first condition did not meet. Ethanol is not a good solvent. Uh, for water, so we can't use ethanol. For water, it did not dissolve so far. It's not dissolving at room temperature. So the first condition is met. The second condition is that it must dissolve at high temperature. So I'm going to take this and place in hot water bath and we continue with that to see if it's going to dissolve in hot water bath or not. Okay, I placed the sample in uh, hot water bath and waiting for it to, um, to boil. At the boiling point, or if it stays in the hot water or boiling water for like a few minutes, um, if it dissolves, that means that it's, uh, it's, it's meeting the second condition for good crystallization solvent. Good crystallization solvent is a solvent that does not dissolve the sample at room temperature or low temperature, but it does dissolve at high temperature near the boiling point of the, of the solvent. And to make sure that is the best and the right recrystallization solvent, after it dissolves, we let it cool down. And when it does cool down, it's expected the crystals it should come out. So the solid should crystal out and we should see the crystals as the temperature is dropping because at low temperature, it should not dissolve. Give, give a minute for it to, to boil. 
and it has to boil before I can test that it's dissolving or, or not. I pause the video in between, so the video is not too long, but I will make sure to capture uh, the changes for you. Okay, the water is, is boiling, and this test tube has been here for about three minutes. It's almost boiling and completely uh, dissolved. Uh, so the second condition is met, and it's uh, so far, it's okay to continue with this solvent as the water as the um, crystallization solvent. I'm going to leave it to cool down to room temperature. I don't need the heat at this point. And uh, when it reaches to room temperature, I will see if the crystals are coming back or not. And if it forms crystals, then we can say that is the, bell, is the right crystallization solvent and we can use water uh, to recrystallize the given sample or the unknown sample for this experiment. The solution has uh, been cooled down to room temperature and you could see that the crystals of the sample has appeared um, in, at low temperature and that makes this solvent the right solvent to use. So we cannot use ethanol because it did dissolve the sample at room temperature. We can use water as the crystallization solvent for this experiment. I'm going to move to the next part of the experiment, which is the crystallization of the sample. Now that we have our proper recrystallization solvent.